Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine Tech Help Show, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to transcode your video files into an iPhone, iPad, Android compatible version. Yeah, it sounds complicated, but in reality, I'm going to show you how to shrink your videos so that they look good on your phone or iPad. So first thing you need to do is at my website, that's PCMichiana.com, P-C-M-I-C-H-I-N-A.com. And Michiana is near Notre Dame in northern Indiana because you guys keep, keep, <laughs> people keep asking me what the heck that means. Uh, go to the free download section at the top here. I have about 70 downloads I've collected over the years as an IT professional. Uh, and scroll down to the section called DVD slash CD Backup. And uh, what we're looking at here is this handbrake transcoder. Now go ahead and select that, download it and install it. I'm not going to show that on this video to, uh, you know, save brevity for brevity's sake. And in the bottom left-hand corner, select the Start button, and we're going to type in handbrake. And we're going to go ahead and open up this program. Now when handbrake opens, this part's uh, really easy. Um, the trickiest part of this is actually finding out the resolution of your Android device. The nice thing is on the right-hand side here for Apple products, there's a preset for iPod, iPhone and iPod Touch, iPhone 4, uh, Apple TV is even on there, the iPad is on there, and then you have the Legacy, which is like the classic in the Apple TV and the iPhone Legacy. It's the older versions of the iPhone. Uh, first thing we're going to do is in the upper left-hand corner, we're going to select Source and Video File. And we are going to locate a video file. Now I have an older video file here uh, from a video series I did before. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now once it pulls it up, it shows you the time of the video and what chapters are in it and all that fun stuff. And what we're really interested in here is the output settings. And right now it's at the preset of iPad. What we actually want to do is we want to scroll down here and select a new uh, setting. So we'll click Add. And then we're going to say whatever your device is. In my case, it was a Droid X, so I'm going to put Droid X2 because I, uh, you know, already had that made. And then what you're going to want to do at this point is select Strict to None, and this is where we actually have to enter the resolution of your portable device. Now, most of you won't know what that is. For the presets, they'll already be there for the iPod. Now, what you should do is the easiest way to do is just go to Google.com. And then whatever phone you have, mine is the Droid X, and then type in the word resolution after it, and type in, well, yeah, we'll probably just do resolution, and press enter, of course. And then down here, if I scroll down here, it says the viewing resolution of a Droid X is 480 by 854. Okay, so let me go back to this, and I'm going to type in the width, 480, and then I'm going to check this box off here, keep aspect ratio. And now notice that it changed the height to 272. Now, you do not want to modify this height. The width is the most important part on your phone because you want it to span the full width of your phone. Now, the height is automatically adjusted based upon whatever video you're converting. So just leave the height whatever it is. After you're done with that, what I usually do is I check off this web optimized uh, button here and that'll make it a smaller file size. And uh, if you have an iPod 5G, you'll want to check off this for, for, for uh, the older fifth generation iPods, which most of you probably won't have. And then when you're actually done up at the top, you'll click start. And then down here it says encoding. Now, as you can see the destination here, it's gonna put it on my desktop. Part one, this is my old, what is a blog and what is a word, what is WordPress? It was my make money blogging video series. Uh, it looks like it's done, so let me go to my desktop here. And here I have my video. Let me open it up. And here it is. Here's that video. And notice that it's a smaller resolution, which you would expect because your screen on your phone is much smaller and everything plays perfectly through there. And then when you're done with it, like you normally would, you plug your phone into your uh, computer so you can synchronize it. And in the Android instance, you can actually pull up your computer and uh, you'll get a nice device with a removable storage and you can drag and drop your video into that area. And I'm assuming that you've set your USB mode on your phone to mass storage device. Uh, and for the uh, iPhone, obviously, you need to use iTunes to import it. And that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. I hope you stay tuned for my future videos. And uh, thanks for all your support. I know it's been a while since I've been here, and I appreciate all your feedback. And I'm going to keep trying to hammer out some videos for you guys in the future. And uh, stay tuned.